Hey, it's Mike from Maker Moose. Today I'm going to be making a birthday card for someone very special to me. Um, I have a stamp set I've never used before from Pink Fresh. I do make a lot of floral cards. I really like Pink Fresh, their sets, because they have an all in one stamp, all in one stencil, and all in one die cut, and then individual die cuts for the sentiments. Oh, you can't see the sentiments there, sorry. So I really like coordinating sets, especially since uh, Copic coloring this would take a, it would at least take me a very long time and I probably wouldn't make it as colorful as what they do. So obviously you don't have to use that many colors, but I do like, this is called Rainbow Daisies and that's what, I, I like the idea of having a bouquet with lots and lots of colors. And I like that there's a wreath there that I can put something in i can even tone this one down and then have really rainbow colored flowers in the middle just so that it pops a little more so the rainbow daisies has six six stamps so or six stencils sorry uh so rainbow colors i think so this is all greenery when i'm using layered stencils uh, especially with sharp corners. I do prefer blending brushes over the blending foam tools like these ones here. Uh, I do find the brushes get into the corners a lot better. So I think I'm going to get my color chart. Um, I think I'm going to be using later Gator, but I'm going to compare that really quickly to Viper. Yeah, we're going to go with later Gator. Yeah, I think I like that more just because I really want the the color uh, of the flowers to actually be really bright. So the second stencil is the ones on the far side. I might just do the um, exactly as it is here on the inspiration. Shooting star is usually my go-to yellow. So we're going to do orange. I think we're going to go with roar. I'm usually torn between guppy and um, roar. For my red, I think Prom Queen has a little more interest to it for flowers. the blue probably gonna go break up blue and then I've got some crown me as my final color Ooh, heavy handed there. <laughs> I 
There we are. So we've got two of the rainbow daisies done. Um, I definitely prefer the lighter green and the lighter purple of this one. So this is the set I'll be using. And then um, I might use this for another card in the future. To me, the big benefit of these pink fresh one piece sets is this die. It's just line it up once through. So I'm back to build my card. Uh, I have the general layout that I want right here. So I'm going to put these flowers in the corners and cut off the stems. And then the wreath in the center. And then this is from another, uh, the sentiments from a different Pink Fresh stamp set called Artistic Dahlia. And it says, may all your wishes come true. I'm going to put this on a um, lavender cardstock. This is from Hero Arts. This is the Hero Hues 100 pound. And I do just want to add a little bit of ink blending to the card front. I just, I think I'm going to be using, yeah, I think I'm going to use sponge sugar. So I've got my oxide blending brushes here. I did get some more uh, solar paste. Uh, so I've got the Beluga, Cross My Heart, and Crocodile Tears. I think I might try and do something. If I can't water this down and splatter it, I will. I've got some stencils that look like splatter, so. So I'll find something for a mask. So I'm just using the, um, the scrap that the wreath came from. I'm gonna put it over top of this. All right, so that should make a pretty good mask there. So I've got some cross my heart in a bowl here. Just gonna add some water, give it a mix. Still pretty thick. I'm gonna add a little more water. So lavender background with subtle uh, sponge sugar and some, it's hard to see on camera but there is some uh, mica splatter there that was uh, the solar paste um, thinned out with water. Got some wow super fine gloss here. go. So now I'm just going to cut these off. So here's my finished card. I do have a few um, inside sets. I love this one, um, but I'm not going to use it for this person just because this is a little bit snarky. Um, it is called the Inside Scoop Snarky Birthday. <laughs> 
Um, this is another snarky birthday one. It's I love that they they actually call it snarky birthday. I was I did literally Google snarky birthday uh, sentiments, and um, <laughs> that's how I found these two. Um, so happy birthday, make a wish and blow at the bonfire to my partner in crime. How old is that in dog years? It's all downhill from here. We're still hot. Only now it comes in flashes. They say age is only number. In your case, it's a big one. <laughs> it's your birthday. Go ahead and eat all the carbs. <laughs> Actually that I'm pretty sure I'm going to use that one. Um, do you need a fire extinguisher for all those candy candles? Hey, I remembered your birthday. Thank you for always being older than me. This may be the year to start lying about your age. Um, so I didn't think I, I do have a couple of more inside sentiment ones that I, I thought, um, actually I thought the Christmas one that I grabbed was the other birthday one, but I've got one legitimate like birthday one. And then these two snarky ones, but I think I'm going to use it's your birthday. Go and head. I'll go ahead and eat all the carbs. I, uh, <laughs> I like that one. All right. Um, so thanks so much for joining me. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe and we'll see you in the next video.